Get that bread, get that. Oh my gosh, I gotta stop saying that. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I gotta get that on my head. I'm gonna test this out. Keep in mind that I'm an artist. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Charity Sine and I am back with another video. And today, I just did a little look. Um, and yeah, you know, I just felt like doing my makeup. I just wanted to do this real like cute little look, you know. I love it, I love the vibe this whole look is given, okay. So yes, if you are interested in today's video, just keep on watching just gonna oh wow i really um i don't have as much of this concealer as i thought i had like that's really about to blow me away because i really don't have any of this left like why do i even bother this is the morphe fluidity concealer in the shade c3.55 I'm just going over my eye with, with this for base. I'm doing this with a MAC 217 brush. All right, I'm working out of this Lime Crime palette today. This is the Venus. And I'm going to go on with Idolize. And this is what I'm using as just a real quick transition shade. I'm going to have to do close-ups because I'm not about to keep putting picking this palette up. Go in there with Botticelli, or Botticelli. And I'ma just place this right here on my outer corner. Right now, I'm only worried about building up this pigment. I'll worry about blending later. I just fucked my shit up. <laughs> relax, my nigga, relax. Everything's itching. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Passion. Taking the color Passion, and that's what I'm just gonna put right beside it. These colors are chalky, so the only thing is, um, it just might take it, you know, some time to build up the pigment and to um, blend it. But other than that, like, it's nothing. Like, I've used this palette several times so it's, it's not a bad thing as y'all can see like when I was going in the first few times it was like really chalky but the colors are still very pigmented so it, it won't take you long to build it up I'm gonna take flora so now I'm just taking flora and I am putting that beside it and I'm going to actually blend this up into my eyebrow. You know what I'm saying? I like this shade. Like, I use this shade a lot. Like, I think I use this shade every time I um, use this palette. The shade is so pretty. Like, it's just so beautiful to me. Now I'm going to take Scallop. And that's what I'm gonna put right on the inner corner. You know, just right there. You can't really, you can't really see it. You can't really tell. Just a cool, quick eye. You know what I'm saying? But still colorful. Why not? I'm just gonna take a blending brush and going to go right over those colors. I'm just gonna make sure, cause I want to wing this out this deeper color out i'm gonna wing it out you know what i'm saying i'm gonna bring that outward so i'm gonna go do that with this shade we're gonna zoom it out of course we're gonna clean it up too so yeah if you can't tell oh my gosh yeah i've already done my foundation if you cannot tell just gonna correct with my crayon case highlighter concealer in the shade 13. Just gonna go ahead and get right real quick. You know? And the areas I like to correct when it comes to this concealer, I only take it under my eyes and around my mouth because those are my darker areas. 
on my face, so that's what I do, honey. Ah, my, that spot right here is just really itching. And right now, this is really getting the job done. Um, it's been this fly outside of my window, and I, it's like I really think it's been the same fly. Like it keeps coming every day. I think it's been the same fly because ain't no fly ever outside my window. Like, I'll see dragonflies. I'll see wasps. But never just a regular fly. I'm just trying to figure out if something in here that it's trying to get or what. Because it's not adding up. Before this, I was watching B Love's Mug Bones. Oh. She be making everything look good. Like, like you know those people who eat that just can make anything look good? I don't know, like, I love food. Like, I have a, a dying love for food. I just really hope there's enough concealer in here. Because I just don't want to get up. Oh, my fault. I'm going in with uh, this Morphe Fluidity Concealer. You know what I'm saying? To brighten. Brighten up, you dig? I'm going to go in with a sponge under my eyes because those bristles from the brush low-key irritated me a whole lot. Those bristles really irritated my under eye because I, mm, I was about to say something I was going to regret. But no, I'm very much so thankful in Jesus' name. But I was about to say I hate my skin. I do not hate my skin at all in Jesus' name because I don't want to take it for granted, okay? We've been on the right track here. Okay, dude, let's set this sucker to set. I am using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Loose Powder Love. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? They see you, big booty. <laughs> I'm gonna go on with my NYX no filter powder. You know what I'm saying? Set the rest of my face. My sister came in my room, y'all, so. I don't know if it's a huge jump cut, but if it is, that's why. I don't know why this powder feels soothing to my face, so maybe it's the brush. I don't know. Okay, what is next for the kids? I want to do this black radiance kit for bronzer today because it's been a minute. T.R. Walker raves about this. Like, she has been using it for years. Like, she loves this. I don't know if this is the only thing she used. No, I'm just saying, like, still to this day, I see it on her channel. And I remember I bought it, but I never really picked it up like that. So I remember I had it when I was watching her, and I was like, I'm gonna have to give that a go. You know? So here I am. How'd you look for me? There I go. This is a good uh, bronzer shade, though. Like a really good bronzer shade. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I like this. Just go on. Take it all over my nose. Like when it comes to bronzer, I really just put it all over my nose. I don't, there's no method to my bronzer anymore. Going in with my Dragon Beauty, I already know the deal, honey. Ain't no big thing. Ain't no secret. Yes, ma'am. Get all up in there like that. Go ahead and cut that bad boy. I ain't really even cutting because I don't like it harsh. Like, I know I used to. But, nah. Not no more. I, I think I already said that instead of a, like a sculpted look i really just prefer just like a bronze look more than anything so i'm gonna take this little peach shade which i'll show in the close-up this is a sephora little highlighting palette 
I often forget about this palette, but this is honestly a really great um, highlighting palette. It's a dupe for the um, Anastasia one. I might have it too, but I'm not about to dig for that palette. But it's a dupe for that popular Anastasia one that came out. This thing is awesome though, so if you don't have it, you should get it. Okay, let's get into this under eye. So I'm gonna take Botticelli, you know, and we just gonna connect the two, you know, like so. And I'm gonna do Take Passion. We're literally doing the same thing we did to um, the top. We're gonna do it to the bottom as well, like literally. Okay, taking Flora. And you know what I'm saying? We gonna skip out on scallop because um, I wanna uh, just put some shimmer down there anyway. Yeah. Right now it's looking a little hectic, but it'll be cool. You know what I'm saying? Haven't y'all learned to trust me? Even if you haven't, I don't give a good guy. So I'm going to be lining with my ColourPop lip pencil. Ooh, and this is in the shade Pitch. And then I'm gonna go in with this next butter gloss in the shade Madeline. I don't like that, but I'll, you know what I'm saying? I'll do what I got to do, you know what I'm saying? Anytime, any place. So, I put my lashes on, but I'm taking them off and I don't know what I'm gonna change them into because every time I wear these lashes, like, this I can never get right. Like you see how this one is more closed in as to this one it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. And it happens every time I wear these lashes and I'm just over it. But it's uh the style Dreamy from um KCK lashes. It's not the lashes though, it's me. I don't know why I I don't know if I just can't glue them the same or what, but this one always ends up more straight while this one always ends up more curved and it'd be making my eyes look weird. This completes today's video. I really like it. Like, I can get with it. Like, for some reason, I'm loving it. I'm loving this lip combination. I don't think like I've ever because that uh, color pop lip liner I had to kind of stay away from it because it can be really dark and you really have to know how to pair it because for some reason when I used to use it it just was looking real harsh but for some reason I like it now I just hope y'all enjoyed today's video you know what I'm saying um, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you want to see from me on my channel, you know, and subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you will be notified whenever I do upload. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.